Okay, this is Joe with Cut a Small Lawn Care. I made a little, I made a short video yesterday on my trailer, five by eight, can hold 3,000 pounds, so it say. I wouldn't put 3,000 pounds up. I thought that was a spider web. I wouldn't put 3,000 pounds on my trailer, but uh, so I made some upgrades and maybe this can help you too with your first trailer. Remind you, this is my third trailer. Anybody that don't know, I started with, well, I started in the bed of the truck. Anybody that don't know, I started in the bed of the truck. But even before that, I used to put, uh, even before, like that was like when I actually started my business. But before that, remember, I used to use this more and I used to put this type of more in the bed of my, in the bed, in the back seat of my Jeep Renegade. And I used to go and cut a yard, $15, way in Portsmouth. But that's back when gas, that's back when gas was 129. So, so the upgrades, well, I would say this is the upgrade, this right here, these re retractable ratchet, ratchet straps. Thinking of redoing the floor. Uh, I have new weed rats. These are the one that squeezes. These are the one that squeezes the handle. So these are new. Uh, new weed eater rats. Uh, I have. I made my own custom weed eater holder. So you see, bolt right here, bolt right here. I use a existing hole. Bolt right here, bolt right here and boom and i tap this so it screws on this screws on and off and you can just take it out whenever you want and you and this is the weed eater line and it you know look and i drill i drill a hole in the weed eater uh thing and that way you can pull this through so this doesn't get wrapped around that when you're driving because i had that happen before so you just pull the weed eater line out and look boom so and then come up here look right here zip tied so you see this is the weed eater cutter right here i don't got a hunt for one so i pull the weed eater line up here pull it up here snip it in and when i snip it in i find this hole and i put the weed eater line back in that hole and pull it through and boom i don't got to worry about nothing smart ain't i so we have the new weed eater rats i put this support beam right here because that way they move together instead of moving independently because I hit a bump the other day and this one, I mean, this one right here moved like, this one right here moved over here and that one stays straight. This one stays straight. So to avoid that, I put this beam right here and now they move together. It's bolted and welded. Yup, I'm out here welding. Probably not the best welds, but it's holding. It's holding people. So now that moves together. And we have combination locks. So that makes it much easier. I don't gotta reach in my pocket and get my keys. I can just boom, 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 and get it. We got the, and this is the locks that this trimmer rack came with. I just put them on the trailer just in case. I need to lock up something at nighttime or something. So we got, y'all seen this, got the Cutter Squad, uh, uh, Cutter Squad Lawn Care on the trail, on the side of the trailer. Anybody don't know, we got the, you know, the uh, the notes. We put, I got this spring. I got the big, I went to Tractor Supply and brought the biggest spring they had. And you can see it's attached right there, right there. Uh, I need, I, all I need is one arm now to, uh, to pick it up. So we got these right here because people tailgate in Virginia Beach. So that, that stops people from tailgating. Uh, and I think that's it. So I was out here welding. This had cracked. So I re-welded this. I got the other lock over here and we got a combination lock for down there the same one as those for that and people might be like well that lock is small well that lock 
it's just as thick as this line. They both the, they both the same thickness. So, and our blacked out weed eater. And that's pretty much it for my trailer upgrades. As you can see, I'm starting on the right, starting to black everything out. And I don't care if it avoids a warranty, you're gonna die one day. So, tell me what you think of the trailer upgrades. Now all I gotta do is get I might put I might make this floor this floor a different color. Because black is just holds a lot of heat, you know. So I might put the floor a different color, maybe brown. Uh somebody said something about making the weed and the rats a different color. I might, but I don't I don't like the I don't like people to see stuff. People nosy, so I try to keep stuff a different color. Because the truck already stands out, so I feel like certain stuff need to be, you know, black. But yeah, so that's Joe. Tell me, tell me what you think. This is this was a good idea on it. That was a good idea on it. I'm here to help. And this is on a budget. That's on a budget. You don't need to go out there like some of these lawn care people and get a fifteen thousand dollar trailer. You don't need to do that telling you you don't need to do that this is a 750 dollars trailer that i got on facebook marketplace title in hand we need a rats 35 dollars all the other accessories and all that and signs and all that maybe 200 dollars. so this is this is a thousand dollar trailer and this thousand dollar trailer can make me seven thousand dollars a month so i mean come on so you do what you want to do and you can go listen to them other lawn care people that don't even be out there cutting grass. They actually in the office. Listen to them. But hey, because I'm actually out here blood, sweat and tears.